Sean Strack here and welcome to In The Nest. The Apple and FBI standoff was an unusual happening of the last month. Here at SAA, we love our phones. We were wondering what our school says about this topic, so we interviewed a few people. We asked them, so do you think Apple should build a back door to the iPhone? Anybody can just take what Apple has and then just start using it to take all the people's phones. And they're gonna start taking their credit card stuff. They're gonna start taking their IDs, identification. They're gonna be buying stuff under their names and their credit cards. I think it's a bad idea. I do not believe that anyone should have the ability to have access to other person's private data. No, because there are a lot of other people that really, really care about the security, their security, and because that's what I know, what the people's reactions are, but I don't actually know what's going on. But I don't think they really should. The majority of people have sided with Apple, as many polls are showing, and then Microsoft and Google. As the FBI has been asked by Congress to back off, this hot topic is coming to an end. Interestingly enough, at the beginning of this fiasco, the FBI had the phone's iCloud password changed, thus keeping themselves from getting to the last seven weeks of information before the shooting. It was totally set up by the FBI to try to frame Apple and get everyone access to people's private data. Thankfully, we can thank Apple, Microsoft, Google, and Facebook for protecting our rights, and we might not be as afraid to buy alternatives to Apple in the future. This is Sean Strack, and I'm in the nest.